Hello dear students, my name is Andriy Vakulenko, I am your Ukrainian teacher and in this video we are going to talk about five common mistakes in the Ukrainian language. These mistakes are spoil your speech. All people are make mistakes in the speech, even if they have been speaking the language all their life. And there is no shame in making mistakes, but it is important to be able to recognize them. The Ukrainian language is very rich and beautiful and it should not be spoiled by unfortunate mistakes. The most common linguistic mistakes in the Ukrainian language are Russianisms. They entered our language under the influence of the Russian language. Russianisms are so rooted in the speech that they are often found even in the language of those Ukrainians who don't know Russian. Let's take a look. It's not correct to say в кінці кінців в кінці кінців In Russian it will sound like в конце концов but it is correct to say зрештою зрештою For example для мене це не важливо зрештою вона є гарною людиною Another one виключення з правила In Russian it sounds like ісключення із правил but it is correct to say in Ukrainian виняток з правила виняток з правила це є виняток з правила for example and another example of russianism заключається in russian it will sound like заключається заключається суть этого дела заключається в <laughs> in ukrainian we must say полягає Суть цієї справи полягає в... <laughs> okay, let's move on to the second common mistake. Pleonasms. Pleonasms are the use of two words with the same meaning together. Such words repeat the meaning of each other, so they are considered a mistake. Let's take a look at the examples of pleonasms in the Ukrainian language. Вільна вакансія. Repeat after me. Вільна вакансія. It will translate as open position for the work. But instead of these pleonasms, it will be correct to say just vacancy. And another example. Commemorative souvenir. Пам'ятний сувенір. Пам'ятний сувенір. Сувенір. <laughs> Repeat after me. And also... Be attentive with this word, пам'ятний. It has apostrophe. And if you would like to practice more words with apostrophe, you can buy a video lesson where I will show you exactly how to pronounce properly these words with apostrophe. Just write down to my email. This information is in the description. So, it's not correct to say пам'ятний сувенір. It is more correct to say сувенір. Just souvenir. Because souvenir, it means that it is commemorative. Yeah? And another examples of these pleonasms. Моя власна думка. My own opinion. Моя власна думка. Just say, моя думка. My opinion. На мою думку, українська мова є дуже красивою. Колеги по роботі. Colleagues from work. Just say колеги. Долоні рук. Palms of hands. Just say долоні. Let's move on. Давайте продовжимо. Common mistakes in the Ukrainian language connected with greetings and goodbyes. Not all Ukrainians know how to say goodbye and greet loud ones grammatically correctly. You just need to remember these rules. Доброї доби, добрий день, доброго дня, добрий день, спокійної ночі, на добраніч. Another very common mistake. Будь ласка, please, is written in Ukrainian separately and without a hyphen. So, practice today. Practice today to pronounce and to write it properly. 
Будь ласка. Будь ласка. Active participles with the suffixes uch, yuch are not characteristic of the Ukrainian language. Such words should be avoided. Гальмуючий гальмівний приваблюючий привабливий пануючий панівний думаючий вдумливий Another mistake that occurs very often in Ukrainian language. Remember, на жаль is written separately in Ukrainian language. На жаль. Because many Ukrainians write it down together. На жаль. Unfortunately. На жаль, завтра понеділок. <laughs> also, Ukrainians are often confused about degrees of comparison of adjectives. The prefix най is used to express the highest degree of comparison. It is also a mistake to add the words більш or менш to the simple form of the higher degree. Let's take a look at the examples. Більш холодніший. Холодніший. Самий кращий. In Russian it will sound like самий лучший. But in Ukrainian, найкращий. Try to pronounce it. Найкращий. Ви мої найкращі студенти. It is all very interesting. Це все дуже цікаво. But it's time to finish this lesson. I hope it was interesting for you. Сподіваюсь, цей урок був цікавим для вас. Write down what new information did you discover from this lesson. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can support my channel if you would like. Information is in the description. Keep praying for Ukraine. See you soon. Скоро побачимось.